Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos uh, here from our office in Athens, Greece, in the middle of the summer instead of uh, on a beach. I want to share with you a very interesting case, and I think you're going to find this enlightening. This picture is related to a 12-year-old boy we saw last week. Uh, we can see obvious cataracts, but these are not the pictures of the patient. This is the pictures of his mother in her uh, late um, 40s, uh, and she does have cataracts. And we'll jump uh, to our young fellow. He was referred to us for cataract surgery. This is his right eye. This is his left eye. His visual acuity uncorrected is 2200. It does not improve. It does not improve with pinhole. And his refractive error is um, plus two. And he was given, he's 12 years old, and he was given plus one glasses to wear for distance um, about a year ago. Now, interestingly enough, we found on color testing that he has uh, dyschromatopsia. He tanked his uh, Ishihara testing, zero out of 14, these are the fundi. Um, with the um, color deficiency, I'm very curious to make sure that the macula is fine, make sure we don't have a cone uh, dystrophy here. And although this patient was referred to us to schedule cataract surgery, you know where I'm going because um, I don't see much of a cataract on the exams. This is the macula. Interesting enough that uh, the right macula patient already has a PVD. Um, and, but the macula is fine and the macula thickness is fine. 281 in the right eye, 285 in the left eye. So things don't pan out here. We dilate the patient uh, and then his vision, and this is the oxymoron here for hyperop improved from 2200 to 2040. Uh, so this is the time that we talk uh, with the mother and the pediatrician. These are the HD analyzers, which are perfect. They really show no diffraction uh, left eye here. And uh, we're speaking to the pediatrician. We will, of course, do an ERG on this patient. But uh, even on the um, optos evaluation of the fundus, there's really no cloudiness interfering with our um, pristine detail on the fundi in both eyes. So by discussing with the pediatrician, the clues come in that he has a very bright uh, younger sister who is the show of the family. And we're starting to suspect other reasons. Again, another way to evaluate cataracts, especially in a hyperopic young patient, his lens thickness is only 3.37, 3.35. Usually hyperopes are in a constant accommodative state and their lens thicknesses are, are thicker than normal. This is absolutely normal thickness for that age. Another factor, in my opinion, that uh, also votes towards the direction of um, no cataract and probably a little bit of malingering from this patient that uh, last thing, in my opinion, that needs to have done is uh, cataract surgery, um, probably consultation. We went ahead and did the uh, OCT and geography uh, as I mentioned, we'll do a, um, a brain MRI. This is the OCT angio on the left eye, absolutely normal. We'll do a brain MRI and an ERG to um, exclude any ocular pathology. And obviously this is not an ophthalmologic problem. And I'm showing you this uh, in, as a reminder that we're, besides ophthalmologists, we're physicians. And although the mother has cataracts and needs to have surgery done, as we saw in the beginning of our presentation, the young son at 12 years certainly, in my opinion, does not need to have cataract surgery. Hope you found this presentation interesting. This is John Kenlopoulos signing out. Thanks so much for your attention.